Okay, so I'm just going to look at unordered selections. So let's just say um, that we had four people. Um, so we're going to have four people we need on a committee. And we're going to choose them from five people. So from five people um, on the committee. Then uh, when you're choosing the committee, we've got a special button that will actually do this. But I just want to show you that you've got five people that you can choose from. I just want to show you the why as well. So you could you have a choice of five for the for the first position on the committee, choice of four on for the second, the choice of three, and then a choice of two. But you've got this bit of added problem here that because when you're choosing those people, okay, so let's uh, look at unordered, choosing unordered groups. So usually you're looking at like committees here where you just choose the committee, you don't care what position they hold. Positions like the permutations or using the box method and you really take into account the order. Uh, maybe choosing a sporting team or like round robin. When you're picking that, it really doesn't matter about the order. So here's an example here. We're choosing two people from five to play each other uh, in tennis. Okay. So it wouldn't matter, you know, if you, you're not worried about like who's on what end of the tennis court. Like if you were choosing um, two people, say, um, Zach, you'd put Zach at one end and he's going to verse Charlie at the other end. It won't matter if if you swap them and you put Charlie at one end and Zach at the other end. So position does not matter. Um, so that means that it is a n it is a combination or an NCR. So you know if we if we were looking at this and say we had A B C D E, then I'm going to do it the long way first, and I'm going to show you with the with the magic button, with the NCR button. So you choose five people. You can choose from. You only want to choose, sorry, two positions. That's all you're doing. We're only choosing two positions to play each other. So you know we could go A B A C A D, and this would take forever. Um, B. Oh, we don't want to do B with A because it's already played. So B C B D B E. And then you go to C and you go, all right, I don't want to choose C with A or C with B because that's done. So you go C with D and C with E. And then you go to uh, E. So D, so you go D. So you don't want to choose, you can't do D with D, but you could do D with E. And see, it kind of halves the number of options because you're not doing the reverse order, which you would do for a permutation. So when you're doing this, look at the boxes here. You go five times three, that's where order would matter. That's five factorial, and you can see the tail end, the two factorial has been divided out because it's five times four times three times two times one over the two times, oh, sorry, that's five times four. Um, so it's over three times two times one. It should be five times four. Um, and that means we should be dividing out three factorial, my mistake. Okay, so because you've got five people you can choose from for the first one, and then once you've chosen one, then you have four left to choose from. So that's five factorial with uh, three, sorry about my mistake there, three, I uh, divide out the three factorial, and that's what you've got there. Now, if we want to divide out the order, see at the moment when you're doing that, that's actually going to be equal to 20, okay? But what we want to do now is within our pairs, we've got two factorial. So we actually need to divide out the two factorial because that's the way that's taken into account like the AB and the BA, which we don't want. And it's the two factorial, you can arrange the pairs. 20 divided by two is 10. Now let's just count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, exactly 10, which is half the number as if you did them in the opposite order. Now, a quicker way of doing this, when you're just choosing two people from five people, and the order does not matter, if the order mattered, you use the box method. 
you could use the NPR, but that, that sometimes if you've got restrictions, that's only for nice straightforward ones. If you've got restrictions, it can get you into trouble. So you'd use the NCR button. So go 5CR, so, so 5C2, because the N is equal to the 5. That's what you're choosing from. And the R is equal to the 2. That's the number of people you're choosing. So when you put that in, it is actually equal to 5 factorial on 3 factorial, 2 factorial. Um, and when you put that in your calculator, you go 5 and then you go shift and then that one will be um, on your division button. You'll look, search for your NCR and then you go 2 and then if you press equals, you'll find you should get 10.